Hello everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. See you guys in a second. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keto, paleo, um, vegan, vegetarian, no matter what diet you choose, it has to fit with your body. There's not a diet that fits with every type of body um, because some people, some nutritions that they need are in certain things and some nutrition they need on, on other certain things. So you have to figure out how your body works. Everybody's different. Not one diet will work for everyone. You have to make sure that first you're getting all your nutritions, you're getting your fats, um, you're getting your proteins, um, and you're getting a little bit of carbs. So good carbs are fruits, but there's also like sugar substitutes in keto diet. But check with your doctor and check with your body type what diet works for you. Paleo diet, you can eat grains, uh, but you can't have cheese. Um, there's other things you can't have with it. Uh, and there's vegan diet, so vegan is no dairy. Vegetarian diet, which means you're cutting out all the meat, but you can still have eggs, um, you can still have cheese, and whatever diet you choose, you make sure your food proportionate is accurate to your body type and how much you gotta be intaking. So if you are a heavy eater, don't just not eat. You have to eat a um, certain amount of food. What you wanna do is, instead of having three big meals, you can cut down to five small meals. If you're trying to lose weight, you'll start losing weight, but also give you enough energy to go out and do your thing in the day. So each diet is specific to types of foods you eat. All diets have their pros and cons. There are certain diets that will work for you. There are certain diets that won't work for you. It's not true that the diet that didn't work for you won't work for someone else. And it's not true that the diet that did work for you will not work for someone else. It is total depending on your body type and your own preference of what diet you want to be in. All you have to do is remember, you got to be healthy. Not eating is not healthy. You gain more weight for not eating. If you're eating enough food, you're still losing weight. So one thing you want to do is you want to boost your metabolism. That's one thing is when you're eating a lot, like not like three big meals a day, I mean like five meals, five small meals a day, adding a little bit of brunch um, in the middle of that, a little bit of snack, that keeps your metabolism up, so you still lose weight. Uh, doing that, and that's really odd to some people that that really works because you have to boost your metabolism if your metabolism is low. At the same time, depending on if you're diabetic, if you have certain restrictions, you have to check with your doctor what diet fits you the best. And check with your nutritionist, see what diet will work for you, and combine that together and just implement a plan. Um, there are certain people that count calories, um, there are certain people that count carbs, there are certain people that count how much you're taking in, uh, like meats, veggies, proteins, see how many micros are in there, so how much grams are in there, how much like uh, protein and what is breakdown. So there's a lot of different barriers, variations that people take. I tend to just go with, you know, I'm gonna eat eggs, I'm gonna eat eggs. I don't count calories because that's too much work for me and even though I'm Indian, I don't like doing math. And well, I don't like doing math on an empty stomach. So that worked for me and what I do is I just try to stay healthy um, so I stay active. That is part of my diet. I try to have a healthy diet that keeps me active um, throughout the day so I can do my activities. So I can make videos, so I can go out and do my work, and I can go out and, you know, party. 
Some days I want to make sure that I take in certain types of proteins and some days I want to take certain types of nutrition. Um, but it's just, it fluctuates so I'm not bored on eating the same food every day. So I just mix batch a little bit so that way it all blends in together. Because one thing you want to do is you want to hit your body with something different. Each day you want to hit some, some different, different type of food because you know, once your body just gets used to this type of food, it just becomes immune to it. So like people do in water diets, they should skip a month before doing another water diet. So water diets, um, they help get you, you know, I'm not a doctor and this is, this, this is only for entertainment purposes and this is my opinion and this is what I researched. So take that with a grain of salt and I'm just a guy on YouTube. Remember that, I'm just a guy on YouTube. Water diet, what it does is you do a three day water fast. So three day water fast, what it does is it helps you grow stem cells naturally in a natural state you don't want to do it for more than three days it's fine um, but you can do it longest for 20 days but don't go past the 20 days it's up to you and your body and what it does is it helps you lose weight and also grow stem cells in you and it's a false uh, mythology where it states that if you're only drinking water you can't last for more than two weeks which is untrue you can last for about 21 days without food, but you cannot last without water. So water does is it cleanses your system out and it's not a diet, it's just a cleanse. So three day water cleanse, um, you can do a 20 day water cleanse. It's all up to you how you wanna set up your body. And then you can also do different things where you're doing um, fasting where it's intermittent fasting. So basically you will eat dinner and you won't eat until the next day's dinner. So it's just different varieties of cleanses you can do because you can get the toxins out of your body um, and then you can start your diet. Or you can just start your diet. It's up to you how your body is. You know your body more than I do, more than anybody else does. Talk to your doctor, talk to your nutrition, and see what diet works for you. So there's whole different types of diets out there and I just wanted to break down what diets are and what fads are. I just wanna make sure that you guys understand that every diet has pros and every diet has cons um, and every diet does not work for everybody. Uh, it's certain diets that work for some people, certain diets that don't work for some people. It all counts on you and your body. If you're eating healthy and you're getting a good diet, you'll have enough energy to spend time with yourself for 10 minutes a day, free your mind to make a list and a goal. That is one thing you got to do is you got to make sure you have a healthy diet. And what healthy diet is, it's a whole different definition for everybody, each individual as their own separate entities. So you have to check on what diet works for you and stay with that diet. If it's just being healthy, just be healthy. Eat just all your nutritions, all your proteins, all your carbs, all your fats. Just make sure that you are keeping, or you are eating. You are eating throughout the day. And make sure you have a lot, you know, of water. Make, it, make sure you're drinking water, making sure you're having that nutrition, making sure you have the vitamin D, go out, you know, walk around, have the sun touch your body, uh, make sure you have the vitamin D, vitamin C, and vitamin E, and all your, you know, diets are in healthy condition. Do not go and starve yourself for a diet. Make sure your diet works for you and not you work for your diet. So. Signing off on that note, thanks for watching Not Talk, and remember, self-love is the key, and keep on loving yourself, and improve each day. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video.
with somebody that needs it. Thank you.